Dr. Hakim Olushe is a world-renowned astrophysicist, inventor, television host, and author. Currently stationed at NASA, he's a former TED Fellow who holds three degrees. He helps us grapple with questions like, what's beyond our galaxy, and what can the stars tell us about our past, while he shares the details of his own improbable personal journey. There's five times more dark matter than there is normal matter. Not only is there dark matter, there's dark energy in the universe. And this stuff makes up 95% of everything. In fact, there are parallel universes. And the gravitational effect that we see is really the gravity from a parallel universe affecting our universe. When I did my first astrophysics research that summer at UC Berkeley, trying to catch dark matter particles, I found that I appear to be from a very different universe than everyone else. Right? Three of the guys in my research group, their fathers were PhD physicists. My father, on the other hand, dropped out of school when he was nine years old. He worked at the, at the aluminum factory by day, but he had two businesses. He had a farming business in Mississippi, and he had a large import business in New Orleans, and he was so forward-thinking because today, his business is actually legal in several states, <laughs> right? So I go to Tougaloo College, right, in Mississippi. You guys heard of Tougaloo College? So I'm in my first week of school, and I go to class. It's a math class. The professor goes to the board, and he starts writing stuff, and he's talking. And all the students are sitting there. They have these, their notebooks out, and they're writing stuff, right? And I look around, and I'm like, what is everybody writing? And how do they all know what to write? And I don't. I'm like, what is going on in here, right? I had never seen a lecture in my life. Right? At my school, my high school, school, we didn't really have school in school, right? Um, I had never seen taking notes, right? And so I go through this for about a year, and I come to the conclusion that, you know, college isn't for me. I'm not smart enough. I ended up getting admitted to Stanford graduate program for a PhD in physics. And I showed up there, and they said to me, they go, Hakeem, look, you're a smart guy, but your background isn't like our normal student. So we suggest that maybe you take a year of undergraduate courses to prepare you for taking this big exam you have to take in graduate school called the qualified exam. And I was like, nah. And they're like, look, don't take it personally. Look, you know, you, you, you really need this. I was like, no, I think that's not the thing to do. And they're like, no, no, I came seriously, man. I was like, no, no, you misunderstand me. I think I need to take two years of undergraduate courses. Hakeem grew up in some of the roughest neighborhoods in the US and had to overcome a nearly constant stream of naysayers and setbacks. With over 12 patents essential to computer chip manufacturing, his influence can be felt on a daily basis. Mathematical abstraction is one thing, the universe is one thing, and elementary particles is one thing, but where do infinities really impact our lives? We live in a field of all possibility where at all moments we're, we have access to infinite choices. And I don't need to look any farther than my own life to recognize that just like adding the ever doubling integers to get bigger and bigger numbers actually ends up giving you a very small negative number, the sum of all the choices that we make in our lives, even if many of them are negative, you can find that it sums to a very large positive value. There I was, I was struggling, and it was by luck and by hard work and preparation that I got to where I could now have the dignity of living a life where I wasn't looked down upon, right? And so I ran into a friend in Berkeley, and he said, Hakeem, I always remember that story you told me about being a janitor, because there you were. Your manager was looking at you, and they didn't realize that the person before them was a Stanford PhD physicist, but they couldn't even envision you being a bellhop. Right? And I realize that I now have that power. For each of us, we might be in the struggle ourselves. Or we might be the catalyst that allows another person to survive their struggle. Because when you're in it, if someone turns to you and says, maybe you don't belong here, or someone turns to you and says, I believe in you, then you can make a difference in that person's life.